Greetings my viewers and subscribers I'm coming at you again and this time we're gonna do some more time traveling another big hit from Studio One this one is entitled Play Play Girl by Johnny Asburn grab your guitars let's go So here we go, um, play play girl, let me just take this opportunity to say um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do so now, as soon as you hit subscribe, hit the notification bell and hit all, whenever I post anything, a video, whatever I put here, any form of information in the community wherever, you will be alerted, alright, and remember to hit the thumbs up button, also remember to share the videos, this is how we grow, alright. So let's spread the reggae music to the whole world. Alright, so um, here we go. Now, Play Play Girl, this song is in the key of C. Right? And of course, I'm sure you folks have heard this rhythm, rhythm all over before. You know, and that is really because this they, they, they've made a lot of... They do this rhythm over and over and over. You know what I mean? So um, I think if you listen to Master Griffith's Fire Burning, it is exactly the same thing. You know? Funny enough, when you listen to the original Fire Burning by Bob Andy, the rhythm is nowhere similar. You know what I mean? So, I mean, this is just the great thing about reggae music, you know? But, anyways, play, play, girl. So, again, the song is in the key of C. Alright? The guitar has nothing on it. I try to make it thick and chunky, you know, so, it, you know, we got clarity. I want everybody to hear, you know? So, um... It's a three chord song, you know, a very sweet chord progression, and it also has a stock line. Cool. So, um, I hope you're ready. Let's go. So, the first chord, C, this is what I use, alright, this C right here. So, you come all the way up here to the 5, 6, 7, 8 fret, right? And if you've been following me, you know, for a while now, you know exactly how to farm this chord right here. And it's the root, alright? So, middle finger, second string, ninth fret, pinky finger, fourth string, tenth fret, ring finger, fifth string, tenth fret, alright? That's your C right there. Right, so um, it's a one, two, to a five. All right, so so of course you know if you got the one, two, so it's just like a do re mi. One two, every note represents a card. The two is all, always a minor, so you wanna bar the whole. What fret are we at? Alright, we want to bar the whole 10th fret. You want to place that ring finger on the 5th string, 12th fret. Alright, put the pinky finger on the 4th string, 12th fret. Now my advice is to you just remove the pinky finger and play that only. And that right there is the minor 7th. Right? That's a 2. Alright, which is D minor. D minor or D minor 7. Alright, I, I, I always use minor sevens because, because it's sweeter. You know, I'll do a video 
I'll do a, a tutorial explaining why I use them, you know, and the use of them and how to use them. Cool. And then, of course, you're going to have the five. All right. So if you have do, re, mi, fa, so, do, re, mi, fa, so, one, two, three, four, five, then this is going to be your five. So again, you want to buy the whole 10th fret and you want to place that ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string of the 12th fret. And there you have play, play, girl. Da, 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 Whatever, however the song goes, <laughs> you know. Of course, you can always play here. Play, play, girl, then. Da, da, da. When I see you. Da, 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 da. Which is much warmer. Alright, so I'm going to show you to farm those cards also. Alright, so for all those who just want to play here, see, I don't like when it's too high and too, that's just not my thing. Alright, so keep this regular C right there, C major, and you want to come here to the D, that's going to be on the fifth fret. Same thing, same thing, right? Alright, so you want to form that minor right there, so you want to bar the whole fifth fret and place that middle finger on the second string, sixth fret. Pinky finger on the third string, seventh fret. Ring finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. All right, and that right there is your D minor. Now to get the D minor seventh, you just want to lift the pinky finger. So play, play, girl. Na, na. Then the next card will be your five, right? So this is a five. So instead of form it here, you form it here. Sweeter, you hear that sound? Listen now. Sweeter. Cool. So you want to bar the whole seventh fret for that. You want to place that middle finger on the second string of the sixth fret. Ring finger goes on the fourth string. Seventh fret. And the pinky finger, which is the root, goes on the fifth string, tenth fret. Right, and you're gonna play from the string that the pinky finger is holding down. So, I wanna hear that sound? Play, play, girl. Na, 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 na. Uh, 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 uh. See? That's a sweeter sound for me. All right. Now remember when you're strumming. All right. So you want to apply pressure with the left hand, and it, it should be in sync with the right hand. All right. So you strike. So you squeeze and release almost instantly. You want to squeeze and release the pressure. Relax the fingers. All right. That is how you play reggae. You know, you want that staccato. Alright, so now, here is a demonstration of how you play that. This is how it sounds. This is your first one. Which is okay. Here's my word. So on to the stock line, which is everybody's favorite, right? Now, a stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. All right, so in this song, you are going to play exactly what the bass plays. All right, if you can play the bass, you can play the stock line. If you can play the stock line, it means you can play the bass. All right, it is as simple as that. If you know your major scale, you should be all right. All right, with the stock line. So you know, they're using the notes in it. But the thing is, they're moving from the one to the five, back to the one, then back to the five to the two, then you're going to pass on the four, to the five, back to the two, 
back to the five, then you start all over again. All right, so here are the notes low. That is it. Here is an example. So that's a wrap my people, that is how you play Johnny Asburn, play play girl and electric guitar, a very huge one from Studio One, you know what I mean, go and check it out, I'll leave a link in the description to the original song, so yeah, I'll make it easy for you folks, remember, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit all so whenever I post a new video, you will be alerted, my name is Zion, remember that, blessed love, peace out, and I'll see you next time.